Hello and welcome to another exam mini video. My name is Fisher Steins and today we're going to be talking about point mutations. To begin, I'd like to offer a brief overview. Um, so with point mutations in its simplest form, these are genetic mutations where a single base is substituted for another. Now this can manifest in one of two ways. They can either be transitions, which where we have a like-to-like -like substitution, that is to say a purine to purine or a pyrimidine to a pyrimidine, or we can have a different type called a transversion. And in a transversion, we have an alternate to alternate substitution. And this can be a purine to a pyrimidine or vice versa. And you can see this in the graphic below. So really the driving question behind these point mutations is how does it influence translation products? And this can manifest in a number of ways. And we're gonna do this through an example. So looking at this example sequence, um, we're gonna sort of look along the DNA coding strand, which is listed here from the five prime to three time direction. And we're gonna look for this ATG. This is the beginning of our reading frame. And this codes for methionine. This is our start, codon, and followed by valine, arginine, phenylalanine, isine, and then we have our stop codon here and UAA. So this is going to be our initial five amino acid products. And this is going to change with each point mutation. So let's follow that in turn. To begin, we're going to talk about missense mutations. Uh, and basically, a missense mutation is where it codes for a different amino acid product than it did before. So in this example, I'll point your attention to DNA here. Um, so our original was GTC. Then there's going to be a transversion that occurs where we uh, change from T to a G in this DNA prime. This just signifies that it's uh, a different DNA strand. And that will then be coded in an mRNA into glycine. So we have a new amino acid product here. Moving on to the next one, we have nonsense mutations. And this is where it essentially codes for a premature stop codon. So before our stop codon was here, but now we're going down to only four amino acid products. So this is a transversion from an A to a T, and then again an mRNA that changes to a U, and we get our stop codon prematurely. This type of point mutation um, is going to be dealing with a silent mutation. And this codes for the same amino acid product. This is really interesting. So we have a transition that occurs from a G to an A, um, but because the codon for arginine can be done in a multitude of ways, we'll see that it codes for the same amino acid. So the product is the same, but the DNA sequence is different. Not least, we have a read through. And this is when we have a, a codon that codes for an amino acid product that does not terminate translation. Um, so previously, this was our stop codon, but we're going to have a transversion that occurs, this T to an A. This is then translated into lysine. And we can see that without that stop codon, we're just going rampant here and producing all sorts of amino acids that we shouldn't be producing. So here are my resources. Thank you very much.